In Excel, you can count using criteria with the count if function. In later versions of Excel, 2007 and later, you can count multiple criteria with the count ifs function. So here we have a list of items that we've sold and the quantity for each. And we would like to find the number of orders where a pen was the item sold and the quantity is greater than 10. So in this cell, I'm going to start with an equal sign and then type count ifs, an open bracket. And the first thing I'm going to check is the item that was sold. The range, the first range is A2 to A10. Then I'll type a comma. And the criteria for that range, I'm just going to type in here, inside double quotes, pen, and then another comma. So that's the first thing we're going to check is what item was sold. And the next will be the quantity. So I'll select the range that has the quantities, another comma, and we want quantity greater than or equal to 10. So within double quotes, I'll do a greater than symbol, equal, and a 10, and then another double quote, close the bracket, and press enter. So there were two orders for pen where the quantity is greater than 10. Now instead of typing these criteria in here, I can refer to a cell. So instead of typing pen inside double quotes, I could click on a cell where I have typed the word pen. And the same for this criteria for the quantity. I'm going to take out the 10 just by deleting that leaving the operators within the double quotes, and then I'll type an ampersand and the cell that has the number. So this is greater than or equal to whatever number is in cell E3. And when I press enter, I get the same result. But it's just easier to change then. I could type a five here now, and we see that there were four orders where the quantity is greater than or equal to five instead of the 10 that we had in there before. So this formula is much more flexible if you use cell references rather than typing the values in as hard-coded values.